Hey everybody, this is Eric Nam here, and I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to tell you about an incredible project that I've been working on for quite some time. You may have heard of it by now, but it's called Mindset. So Mindset is an audio platform that we've created at Dive, and it is for artists to tell their most vulnerable, intimate, personal stories about themselves and about their lives. And the application is finally available, and my audio collection, Eric Nam's Mindset, is available right now now. Um, I get into things about my life, my upbringing that I've never shared before anywhere, really. Um, And it's very personal. It's very deep. um, And it covers a range of topics, you know, from mental health and wellness to bullying to overcoming some of the biggest challenges of my life. I also have conversations with my mom who as many of you may know, was very, very, she did not like that I became a singer, Um, but very heartfelt moments there, conversations with um, my mentor from college, professor, and just a lot of things that I think, I hope people will listen to, find some sort of healing, feel uplifted, get your heart all warm, but also understand that, you know, there are difficulties in life and there are certain ways, there are certain mindsets that we can have to overcome them together. So, Please check it out. You can download the app right now on the App Store, whichever App Store you have. It's called Mindset by Dive Studios. And if you want it easier, you can go to the link in the description of this podcast or go to getmindset.com, G-E-T, mind, M-I-N-D, set, S-E-T, dot com, and you can get the app. And you can also start listening for free. There's a free intro and there's a free first episode. I'm warning you, you might cry, okay? You might cry, but... Um, I really hope this is some great audio content that really touches you in, in some great ways. And I hope you guys check it out. So please check it out. Download the app, getmindset.com. And I hope you guys love it. And I'll see you guys on Mindset. Now back to your show. Welcome everybody to How Did I Get Here is a show where we live our best lives on the internet, come out the side, knowing more but not feeling all that much smarter. Now, we have a very special guest today, Alexa. We do indeed. Who might that be? Oh my god, it's you. Is it time for me to say hi? It is. Yes. Hey guys, what's up? It's Juni. I'm back here. Ooh. All right, all right. International songwriter. Hitmaker extraordinaire. Now. Absolutely popped off last year. Wow. Went crazy. Wow. Multi-millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Billionaire. Billionaire. What's no. it feel Would like it to have money? Guys, <laughs> come on. Don't put… Don't do that to I've me I've really right now. been looking at honey… Uh, for all my uh, coupons. Mm-hmm. I don't want to live that life anymore. <laughs> you want the bag. How do, I, how do I get on your level of songwriting? You're asking me? Yeah. Really? I'm I trying mean, to sell I'm shaking right now being in front of two superstars. So I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> that is the incorrect answer. Yeah. <laughs> the incorrect answer. <laughs> I mean Junie, tell us about yourself. Mm. Man. Oh yeah. Um, my name is Junie. I'm an artist and a singer-songwriter. So… Um, I make music for myself and I write for other people. Um, recently, I have uh, released uh, a, quite a few songs mm-hmm. um, with my name and some other people that you may know. Mm. And uh, yeah, and I've been here for two years now in Korea. Only oh. two years? Yeah. How long, how long has it been for you? Uh, about three. Three years? Mm. So you're like a sunburn name to me. <laughs> Stop. No. Yeah. For, what about, well, what he's like you? the day sunburn name here. Yeah. So. For like 10 years. Wow. Korea does things to you guys. <laughs> Sooner I mean, or later, you'll yeah. find yourself in a place where you don't speak English or Korean. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm getting there no, slowly. But, no, I feel that already. I, I'm, I'm not very good at both. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> it happens. And then you just start speaking Spanish. I don't know where it's like, yeah, that makes sense. That's just you. Yeah. Um. That's definitely just <laughs> you. Never mind. Never mind. Juni, okay. what, but, yeah. what brings you to Korea? Mm. What um, brought you to Korea though? I mean, you know, uh, having that dream of, you know, becoming an artist. Uh, I lived in Canada, so um, I put out music on SoundCloud. As you, guys, you know, guys on SoundCloud. And then… Yes. Uh, I uh, independently distributed my songs on Spotify mm-hmm. and Apple Music. And then somehow uh, I decided to come to Korea. And kind of just start from there, you know? It worked out for you. So that's good. I hope so. How'd you get into like the music writing scene? 
Uh, how did I get into it? Yeah, yeah. How did um, you get interconnected to like the, um, the labels and stuff? I gotta I gotta do a big shout out. I've never I've always talked about this, but I never gave him the shout out. Uh, there's a there's an A and R at SM. Um, mm. I'm not gonna say his name because you know he's he might not want me to, but uh, he found my song on uh, online, uh, one of the songs that I put out independently, and then he called me out for an SM song camp. And then wow, Ooh, you went to the song camp. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So Wait, I had okay. nothing at the time. So like I'm just a kid in a small studio space, just making music. And then um, he called me out to a song camp. Obviously, I was scared, uh, but I met such nice people. They're all nice. But then um, we just connected and ended up sending a song. Hmm. And then from there, I just started. No. Yeah, being reinvited out. Yeah. Dude, Legend. I'm telling you, SM is ahead of their game. SM mm-hmm. is ahead. Of they their game. they like especially like with their newest group. Mm. Um, they're targeting that towards like the newer audience, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. With especially with the TikTok marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, Noah, SM is the only company right now in yeah. Korea. I feel like that's that's yeah. really fully uli- utilizing that. Yeah, I don't know if it's okay for me to say, but I'm just gonna be honest. But like, yeah. SM, I feel like SM in Korea in, in from the top labels. I think SM is the most open to give songwriters that don't have any credit a chance. Mm. That's yeah. so progressive. No, yeah, that I they can just see that definitely. You. Yeah. So they yeah. get so they think about the music first. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like, and then oh, this guy's good. We don't care how mm-hmm. many songs he sold. I like what he does, and then let's bring him over. So because of them, I, I was able to be in this position. Yeah. That's so dope. That's such progressive. Thank you, SM. Shout out to SM. Thank you. A big shout out to SM. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're giving a shout out to SM. But. No, no, you, you got you to respect that, especially because sure. in the culture here today, sure. it's really hard for people to just look at just look at uh, ability mm-hmm. over statistics. Mm-hmm. And for a company to just go into a SoundCloud um, and be like, yo, I really mess with this music, and mm-hmm. then invite you out to a song camp, crazy. like randomly, crazy, mm-hmm. crazy. dude, that's respect. That's respect. respect. And good for them. They got, they got yeah. good things out of it. Yeah, yeah. They got a gold mine. (laughs) Gold mine. Struck gold. Oh wow. You guys are too nice. (laughs) Let's go in. Yes. Uh, So today's topic is… Do dating apps actually work? Question mark? Lads? Who's gonna start off? What dost thou thinketh? Who's gonna start off? I think it started… The boom… Like the the whole dating app Mm. booming thing started off when we're… I think end of high school or college, right? Mm. Yeah, definitely like mm, towards like senior year, I'd probably yeah. say. Yeah. So we were probably the first people to like try it out. Mm. Our age. You mm-hmm. know? So, but then I've never got into it because I was scared. And that's perfectly fair. Yeah. It's scary because people catfish on those things. Oh yeah, I've heard of those. Oh, things. you would know? Tell, tell us about no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no here's the reason why. Because <laughs> when I was in high school, uh, I remember some of my friends hit me up over <laughs> Facebook Messenger. Oh, because yeah. you know, that was a thing, you know. And they sent me screenshots of these accounts. They're like, are you a part of this dating app? And I said, <gasps> no. No way. No, people, because I used to have like a public Instagram. So people were using my photos to catfish as me on dating apps as different races than what I was. Wow. And they did different ages too. Oh, and sick. I was just like… Mm, How does that feel? Weird. Weird. I've never had any interest in them. I know my friends back home have tried them. And sometimes it's like a party game sometimes. Like, mm. hey, swipe right, swipe left. Tell me, ha! Huh? Like, you right. can have fun with it sometimes, I guess. Yeah. But Yo, I've seen people like compare guy and girl contrasts. And they'll be like equally attractive people. Uh. And they'll just both at the same time, the whole two phones, and they'll just go right, 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 right. <gasps> and the amount of accepts is like variably different. It's really? exponentially different. How, how does it work? So usually the female side has a lot more accepts than the mm. girl side. Mm. I thought that was interesting. That is interesting. That is interesting. Mm. I've always like I've I've played around with my friends. Mm-hmm. You know, we all we all tried right, that. You exactly, know what I mean? Right. Exactly. But then I've never like bothered. Actually downloading it on my own phone. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's become more of a party game for a lot of people. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Something to do when yeah. conversations get awkward. Yeah. This is a really strong topic to start off. It is. Uh, I mean if we're going to look directly at statistics on dating apps from BBC. Mm. We do trust BBC. the British Broadcasting Network. Uh, people tend to be pickier online than they would be in real life. But I think that's because it's kind of like… You're not seeing someone face to face. Yeah, that's true. the thing. You're not yeah. meeting. Them. You're being more honest, right? Exactly. Yeah. True. I mean, that's yeah. yeah. Yo, we need to put faces on people online. What you mean? You take away I mean? like anonymous. An, an, take away the anonymousness. Yes. No. That say word. say the word. Say the word. An- anonymity. Say the word. No, no. Anonymity. <laughs> anonymity. It's a thing in Nemo right now. 
<laughs> okay, so I I think there's a big problem actually. Um, mm. especially with like uh, so many pla- we have so many social platforms these mm-hmm. days like Twitter, yeah. Instagram, uh, Twitch, mm. etc., 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 et et right? But then the fact I feel like like you know how in Korea there's a social security number attached to the ID mm-hmm. of whatever you do, mm-hmm. and therefore it could be traced back to who you are as a person. Oh, I didn't know that. And therefore yeah. people have to be a little bit more. Uh, Careful. Yeah. True. Because it I, responsible. Because it got so bad in Korea. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean. Like they took away comments on like articles. Now. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Like, that's yeah. actually put comments crazy. on articles anymore. Yeah. But that's beneficial in my opinion. Oh yeah, so. for sure. It needs to happen. It needs to happen everywhere. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And with that, less less toxicity, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> Why are we having so many pauses <laughs> Wait, today? This, I'm not, so this has nothing this to do good. with. The topic. Oh, well, that's uh, welcome to how do I do? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's basically I feel, what I feel this at is. home. I feel at home. Yes. Great. Good. Welcome to Canada. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we're gonna skiddly back into that real quick, uh, <laughs> we have where it says students were asked what they would consider an absolute deal breaker in a potential partner. Traits like whether they smoke or are particularly religious. Mm. After whittling their choices down to a favorite, the researchers offered to swap their contact details. However, at the same time, they were shown a bit more information about their chosen partner, which included the fact that they had two deal breaker qualities. Uh, okay. For 74% of the people who thought they might get a real date out of the interaction, in, in, interaction, interaction, the deal breakers became non-issues. Oh. Mm. The data also suggests that being very, very attractive as a man offers no advantages over being fairly average. Women like men who rate themselves 5 out of 10 as much as men who think they are a 10 out of 10. Oh, wow. Whereas men would ideally date someone who self-rates their physical appearance as an 8 out of 10. Mm. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, really? Ho, ho. Really? <laughs> so they basically like more, uh, guys who rate themselves lower. Mm. Wait. It's humbling. Wait, humbling. I thought, Humble I thought, people. Wait, I mm. thought… What? I thought confidence was like… The key. Yeah, I thought confidence was important. I mean, confidence is key. Wear it well if you have it. But I, I, I don't know. What about you? you? Do you like humble, humble dudes or… I would prefer humble dudes. Like for me… I mean… Mm. Everybody's gonna say this. Appearance doesn't matter. But no, like thinking back, it's like appearance <laughs> never was really the thing that mattered. Keep laughing, gentlemen. Oh Keep no. Laughing. But I don't know. Appearance doesn't matter to me. It's if All I right. click with someone and they understand my brain. No, but yeah, I get that. Mm. For sure, yeah. What? Has anyone clicked, clicked with you on Tinder before? <laughs> I ain't never had Tinder though. Oh, okay. Friends well have. Played, and well I've played. seen their yeah, matches well and it's it's interesting what happens. What happens? Conversation starts rolling and then somebody goes somebody and then ah, nothing yeah. happens. It's not what? it's not as clean as you think if you mm-hmm. haven't tried it before. Because mm-hmm. I've tried it with my friend's phone and it's not. What is it like? Is it automatically just like, yo, where you at? Sometimes. Yeah. Like my friend has sent me screenshots of her like uh, inbox and it's yeah. just… Fast. I've tried it with a, a, a friend who was a girl. Mm-hmm. And oh. like dudes… Man, you know, because no one can Sounds see that he he would think that no one can see the chat. So, like, wow, Mm-mm. the amount of work they put in, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. amount of work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, I mean, explain hey, amount of work. I mean, amount of work as in like wordplay. Oh, yeah. trying to impress. They're trying to be so loud. Yeah, but it's like these things that you see in like a book, like one on one class of like how to pick up girls. Mm-hmm. It's like hilarious if you see it. Oh, it's like little pickup lines. Yeah, or like, mm-hmm. but do those work? I don't, I don't know. I mean, like personally. I, I don't know. No. I, I, probably not. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. I think I think pickup lines, well, at least in real life, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you say so much as who you are and how you say it. True. Mm. It's how you say it's it. It's how you say it. It's yeah. how. It's the execution. Yeah. And how you look as you say it. <laughs> yeah. Because if you look but nervous… You then a, oh, right, 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 right. Not like if a pure… Look, right, right, right. If you look nervous. If yeah. you're shaking in your boots. But then how do you know it. through text? Because you can't catch nuances. That's yeah. the thing. You smell the fear. Smell the fear out of the screen. Out of the screen. Do you got something to share? No. I just thought <laughs> you did. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not baiting me today. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Yeah, him and it. Oh, I, I literally can't see it from here. Oh, okay. I can do, I can do it if you want. Oh, yeah. If you oh, want you, to. Oh, you. Where, where are we at? Uh, here. Okay. So. It doesn't have to be verbatim, but… Um, in most recent singles in America survey tw- uh, from 2018, uh, conducted every February by March Group and representatives from the Kinsey Institute, 40% of U.S. census-based sample of single people 
said they met someone online in the last year and subs- subsequently had some kind of relationship. Okay. Only 6% said that uh, they'd met someone in a bar. And 24% said they met someone through a friend. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Usually, I mean… You know, there's a saying in Korea… If you meet someone at a bar or at a club… Mm-hmm. It usually doesn't turn out well. I've there's a saying that. in Korea? Is that everywhere? Is that a thing? I mean, I've heard it before. Okay. Yeah. Like okay, It's okay. like if you meet someone at a club… Mostly at a club… Mm. You yes. can't really, you know… Because they're more likely to go to the club even if they're still with you. Mm. And that may turn into a problem. So if it's someone… like You have a higher chance of meeting someone that loves going to the club. Regardless of them having their own partner. That makes Mm. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm. So be careful. It's like a… Be careful of that. Yeah. But I think it's the the safest thing is like… Naturally meeting someone at a certain place or like… Yeah. Introducing… How do you naturally meet people these days though? Oh nowadays. These days it's like impossible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, before Rona times, I mean, <laughs> like, <Rona> times. <laughs> I mean, college was a thing. You know, you meet people oh, yeah. on campus, like mm. in cafeteria, or like on your way to classes in the hallways. Like. Campus. <laughs> um. Okay. So you used to meet people on campus and whatnot, and through mm. friends, and especially in Korea, there's like culture where you like bring out friends to drink or eat, mm. and then yeah. your friends bring out friends of friends, and then friends of friends of friends and friends, and everyone's a big party, right? Mm. So. I feel like that's how a lot of people used to meet. But I'm just wondering like these days… It doesn't feel like anything slowed down. I still see like on my personal Instagram… I still see people getting into relationships. Mm. Mm. People you know going on dates etc. And I'm just wondering like how do people meet these days? Well… Hmm. That's a good question. I feel like the, the, the stats probably went up for the, for the online meetups. Mm, yeah. Most sure. definitely. Like mm. Instagram DMs. Yeah, but probably. would you really ask someone out on a DM? Alright, Zoomers. Zoomers, I have a question. <laughs> Zoomers, I have a question. Is Instagram sliding into DMs like a real thing? I don't know. I mean, I mean like… Sliding into DMs. Friends… Like friends stories. Like stories around you. Uh. Have you heard of that actually working? And that being a thing? Uh, all I know is that I'm pretty sure the rapper Sweetie… She met her boyfriend because she slid into his DMs. Rapper who? Ex- Sweetie. Who? Sweetie? She don't, you, don't, you don't know? Who? Sweetie. Sweetie? She's a rapper. Oh. oh. It's S A W E T I E. S A W. Like Icy Girl. Like that's her Sweetie. thing. Icy Girl? Yeah, like. Like Icy's? Oh. <sighs> no, no, no. I love we, Icy's. Yeah. No, no, no. no we, we know her. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think she got her boyfriend because she slid in his DMs. Wow. So, so it works. That was a success story. That's, so that's awesome. crazy. Don't lose hope, ladies mm. and dudes and those in between. Yes. Do you read your DMs at all? Um, I mean, I don't know. I kind of just. I don't know. I feel like I go on Twitter more honestly. But really? I don't, I don't have open DMs on Twitter. That's the thing. What's Twitter like? I have I don't have Twitter. So. I mean… I don't know. I just go on to check you know… What's what's new? What's popping? Who's having comebacks? What oh, my fans right. are saying. Right, right, right. I just try to stay on top of things. Because I feel like the second I like miss something… I'm like super out of the loop. Mm. And you, know, you gotta know what the kids are saying these days. Because yeah. I'm so out of touch with things as Jay likes to you- point out. I think I think you're much as you're much of a boomer as I am. Mm. No, What's yeah, are. You're we finally are. admitting it. Yeah. Oh my god! No, he's been calling me a zoomer. No, really? you are a zoomer, but you're mentally a boomer. But, okay, you I'll know, take it. Yeah. It's I'll take it. I I feel it these days. Mm. I feel like I'm out of, you know, I'm mm. out of it. Mm. I don't know what the high schoolers are liking anymore. Exactly. Yeah. All I rely on now is TikTok, and that's how I learn things. Dude, yeah. when we used to be in elementary school, or at least when I used to be in elementary school. I used to like have classmates and everyone around me in like first through sixth grade mm-hmm. when they were like, what do you want to be? The people would be like, oh, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be the president. Mm-hmm. I want to be a firefighter. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what they write? They're like, I want to be a YouTuber. Oh, yeah. I want to be an influencer. Oh, I want to yeah. be an idol. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, your dreams are dreams. Yeah. You can do it if you put your mind to it. But uh, I, I don't know. The I feel world's like, changing. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, what did you want? Did you originally want to do music when you were a kid? Um, yeah. No, no, no. At first, I wanted to. I I love sports, oh, so I wanted okay. to be a soccer player. Yo. Yeah. Okay. When I was in elementary school. Respect. Yeah. Respect. Wait, where'd then, you grow up? I I grew up in Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh, you're Vancouver. Oh. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, okay. I lived in a in like the suburb area, like a little outside of Vancouver, like a forty minute drive outside of Vancouver. Okay. And, um, yeah. So I wanted to be a soccer player, and then I realized that. It's very hard. <laughs> it's very difficult to do it. 
Interesting. Yeah. Cause you know, you 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 feel the physical difference. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm facts. not trying to get racial, but like if you like if you're Asian, there's the physical difference. You don't yeah. grow enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you see your friends who are like the sa- like smaller than you, mm-hmm. and then like two years later they're like just growing, mm-hmm. and then you just look up to them. Yeah, then, I know that very well. Yeah. Believe me, <laughs> so I know that very yeah. well. Alexa struggles with being four eleven. I do. Wait, but uh, why not like hockey? I thought hockey was like the big thing. Yeah, I get that all the time. Yeah, because yeah, I'm Canadian. People are like, why don't you like hockey? But then, yeah, you know, hockey's um, like super big. Hockey's right? big, man. Everyone does hockey. Everyone plays hockey yeah. when they're young. But then I never got into it because… I don't know. I just… Watching the sport… I, I respect people who love hockey and watching hockey play hockey. But when the first time I watched it, I didn't know where the puck was. Because mm. it's impossible to see. So oh. they score a goal. I'm just like, oh, they scored. <laughs> cool. talk, talk, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where did it come from? Yeah, but then yeah, basketball, like soccer, like it, okay. it was, it was natural. And then is soccer yeah. like popular in Canada? Not really. Interesting. It so, is a bit, but not as big as hockey or basketball. So how okay. did your interest get peaked in that then? Because I'm two? a super Korean dude. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, like I, I, I went to Canada when I was four, and then so uh, I have no Korean background, right? But then. Um, because of my parents and my fr- like my brothers, mm-hmm. they like put me into the whole Korean mm-hmm. you know thing, oh. and then it was it was the the biggest thing was the twenty uh, the two thousand two two thousand two uh, World Cup in Korea. Do you guys uh, know about that? I'm gonna yeah, nod yeah. like I know sports. You okay, don't so know they, about the two thousand two okay, World so, Cup? You know what? Do I look like I know sports? No, but, no, it's not <laughs> about sports. It's Korean culture. Okay, so I know, know, but I don't. You know, know, about know you know the World Cup, right? Yeah. They held it in Korea and Japan. Mm-hmm. And then Korea went to the semifinals, yes. which is like the most impossible thing. Like mm-hmm. it's it's a miracle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then because of that, a lot of Koreans started watching football, like soccer. Ah. Uh, yeah. And then I, I I hopped on the bandwagon in Canada, which doesn't make any sense, but I did it. <laughs> I mean, as a Korean Canadian, I guess as it a makes Korean, sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. How did we get here? Exactly. There you go. See, he got it. I did it on purpose, but I that it. felt natural, right? Yes. Okay, nice. What happens every good, time, honestly? All right. Nice. Uh, dating apps. <laughs> oh, I will just say a quick warning to anybody who uses an app. Doesn't matter what gender you are. Never agree to meet a person at their house on the first date. Mm. That is dangerous. That is dangerous. Wait, really? Is that a thing? Because I would imagine with COVID, that would be the only option. I mean, right yes. Now. Right now oh. with COVID, sure. But like, yeah. let's pretend COVID wasn't a thing. Don't ever go to a private location on the first day. No you got to be somewhere public where people can find you and mm. see you because you never know. Things can happen to anybody. Watch out guys. Please don't I mean, go to their houses. Mm. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Do you remember everything when you were four? Hell yeah. Oh really? I was in Vancouver. Well said. Yeah, I was I was actually in Vancouver. Probably. Oh really? Yeah, what? I lived in Vancouver for a little bit. Oh really? Played some ice Where? hockey. Made a friend named Brian. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> My name was also Brian. Wait, which which part of Vancouver? I forget. Oh, okay. Wait, is that actually true that your name was? I don't even know Brian where I live right now. Uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. Two Brians in the day six. There's there's a lot of Brians. There's a lot of Brians in Vancouver. No, so many. Really? I know like five Brians in in Vancouver. I know Brian Lee, Brian Park, Brian Kim, Brian Choi. Wait. Yep. So you're Brian's from Vancouver. What? Yonk. He's Toronto. Ah, oh, he's Toronto. Yeah. Toronto's super he's called far Yonk? away. He's Yonk? Yonk. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, have, we have a member named Young K. And she just called him Yonk. And I don't know why. <laughs> Strangely appealing though. Wow. Kind of like how it rolled off the tongue. Yonk. <laughs> Is that what they call him these days? <laughs> you know she knows more about my fandom than I do? Really? Yeah. Dedicated Yonk. She's a fan. In She's my a fan. Day, y'all. Yonk. Dude. Dedicated my day. That's sick. I'm going to use that. My day nation. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's Where going on we? anymore. Um, Where are we? We're talking about dating apps. Yes. Oh, right. uh, oh there's a Tinder algorithm. What? Oh. Uh, breaking down Tinder's algorithm. From ELO the- rating and… Okay, hold up. What's e- ELO rating? What's ELO rating? ELO is like level. It's like level of play. Usually you use it <gasps> in like League of Legends, like Valorant. There you go. Like that's your ranking. Like wow. your diamond, your platinum, your grandmaster. How do you have an ELO rating? So they rate you on… The system rates you? On how many uh, on how many swipes you get? That's on the crazy. Right? Dude, that's 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 dope. Okay. Hold on. So originally followed <laughs> by the ELA rating system, which is based on how many likes you get weighted with those that like you. Are we? Those that like you and how many likes they get? 
Okay, so it's the likes thing. As of 2019, Yo, Tinder said they no longer that? follow this system and they have gotten enough users for a long enough time to base their algorithm on patterns of their own users and who mm. they tend to click with most often. No, that was a YouTube video. Oh my god. Uh, ELO rating? That's unfortunate. What would you rank yourself as? On the ELO no, because imagine <laughs> you can just make like hella accounts and see what ELO you land in. Again. That'd be so Ooh. interesting. Social experiment time. Yeah. Like, look, I might be, I might be diamond and Valorant, but I'm, I'm radiant in Tinder. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure that. I don't. Do you guys know? Do you not play games? No, I don't. Don't play disappoint games. me, bro. I'm sorry, man. What do you do? What do you do in your free time? I, I play. I play soccer games. Oh, I'm, FIFA. I'm super. Yeah. Winning. I'm winning. Oh. Pro Evo. Yeah. Do you yeah. play FIFA the online? Computer? Online. I used to. Ooh. But then I, I, I got. Yeah, but I think we're boring. Like, so. No, no, I my brother games. No, so I, mean, I mean, I I I want to game. It's just that I'm so bad at it. You know what I mean? Like I I like seeing people like you know play League of Legends or you know Valorant, but then I just can't. I'm not very good. Maybe it's a '96 thing. Maybe 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 it's a '96 thing. <laughs> I think it's a Canada thing. Maybe yeah. Yeah. I'm not Canadian. I don't know. Oh, maybe right. it's like honorary. Because Brian, Brian's not really good at games, but he likes playing games too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, how does that work? If your friend really likes playing with, like, you know, playing games with you, mm. but then he's not up to your level, yeah. do you just still play with them, or do you kind of like? Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You take them along on the journey, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right. Anyway, um, what are we talking about? Tinder. 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 So I feel like oh, so what they're saying is mm. if if someone that has a lot of likes or swipes from the other people, mm -hmm. and then they swipe. For you, mm -hmm. it goes it's up. A, it, it goes up for you. Yeah, so it's a good thing for you. Yeah, yeah, but then they don't use that algorithm anymore. That's so interesting that they had a whole ranking system because mm. it makes so much sense. Yeah, it really does make sense to pair you up with the people that are, quote unquote, higher tier. Yeah, but that's so. But that's so. Though. Yeah, but that's that's Tinder. That's life. You look at a picture <laughs> and you swipe Tinder, right or left. That's life. <gasps> True. Oh, but what's interesting to me though is that in Korea, Tinder is like marketed as like a friend making app, not mm -hmm. so much like a dating app. Oh yeah, Bro, yeah. that's cap. No, that's but cap. you know they can't. Okay, but watch if you if you're cap. on TV, they're not gonna say, "Oh, you go on Tinder and mm -hmm. do it, use it for this," right? Mm -hmm. So they gotta make it as friendly as possible. Use of it for what? I don't know. Wait, are you are you, do you have like the same guidelines like idol guidelines or like for me? Yeah. Oh no, I just I'm I don't really. Oh, you just try to censor yourself a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, know. I respect that. Yeah. I respect that. But okay. I don't. I don't. I, it's all good. Okay, I respect yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We're all adults here. Yeah, we're all adults okay. here. No, because like I, I think it's so interesting that because it's like it's like a facade, right? Mm. No one goes on Tinder looking for friends. People go on Tinder for two things, mm. right? Number one, they go they go on for uh, validation, mm. self validation. Oh. Okay. Number two, they go on for whatever we assume that mm -hmm. they're going on for. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't say it. I'm in K-pop, but listen. Can't so so the first one I get it though. Mm. Self <laughs> self validation is big. That's interesting. It's big. It'd be I'm I would feel very good to be swiped right by literally everyone that I swipe right on. Yeah. It's hmm. a nice feeling. You know what I mean? Not yeah. that I've done it, but it'd be a it'd be a nice feeling. It it would. Yeah. <laughs> right? Why are you laughing? Yeah. It's just funny, it's just funny. It'd feel good. <gasps> yeah. I mean, I guess, but yeah. I never thought about it like that though. For validation, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. people just people just want love, right? And yeah. You can't get it. Oh, that's oh, that's sad. That's true. Yeah. True. But then I feel like it'll hit, it'll hit you later. Like it'll yeah. be like, oh, what am I like? What? Mm -hmm. Why does this app have to rate me? Mm -hmm. True. You know, and you get that like Elo that empty feeling scale. when you come back at home from six in the morning, and you get home, you shower, and then you sit in bed. And you're like, what have I just done with my night? What did you do till six? Spending you? hundreds of dollars on drinks. Oh, and right. Oh, like if you like go out on the wait, dating scene, yeah, yeah. Everything, oh, or right. like, wait, that huh? sounded wait, like. Wait, a, no, I was talking about clubbing. Was that an experience? Uh, like that kind of stuff. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> okay, people know I don't club. Oh, right, right, right. People know Jay I don't doesn't club. go outside. Oh, okay. I don't go outside. No, Jay I don't does club not either, go outside. So that's the thing, yeah, you don't club either. No cab. Look at your leather jacket. This is club all over. Hey, this is for the superstars. Yeah, I gotta add to look, you know. I'm not… This isn't me guys. <laughs> Whilst the superstar… This, is, this isn't me. This isn't me. <laughs> no, I feel like I overdressed today as soon as I saw Jay with his it, swaggy… He always looks like swag, this. Yeah. I literally swaggy. live in my house. Wait, everyone lives in their house. Um, <coughs> I stay at my house 24-7. Yeah. But that's… I love being that's at home. Good. Yeah. Do you make music at home? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I make, I make… I have my own home studio. Oh, but then nice. I go out uh, for like other, other projects too. Though, for other people's. Word. Yeah. Anyways, anyways. 
What makes strangers click? What makes strangers Take click? it away, Penny. All right, all right. <laughs> Although we're encouraged to look for people who meet their our preferences, uh, Dr. Rosenak? Rosenak Mylons mm. shared reality theory suggests we may not know what our preferences are until we meet the other person. Mm. Many online dating sites are designed around uh, around the principle that if you can gather enough data on an individual, you figure out a perfect match. If a new relationship is an act of mutual creativity, however, the the right match may be hard to predict. Mm-hmm. Interesting. For experience, lists of dating tips often suggest that the first date should include some kind of cultural activity, like a visit to an exhibition. Exhibition. Hmm. Really? On Tinder? I mean, just, don't they, it doesn't specify. Let's be honest, guys. It doesn't Dude. specify. It just says dating tips. I've I've heard I've heard so many Tinder stories. All I've heard, I've never heard. Yo, let's go to an art museum. Yeah. All I've heard is, let's meet up at this bar or this restaurant. Let's get really drunk and make stupid decisions. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate, yeah. but it's true. I've heard that before. Well, sure. dang. Mm. Have you guys ever been on a first date in an art museum? No. No. Not at a museum. But like, I go to museums for fun back home with my friend. Oh. We used to do that too. I used to do that a lot too. Mm. Did you do it because it was fun or did you just do it to fit in? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I did it to fit in. Oh, I did sad it to, I, I, I could care less. Mm. But sad I just did it Jay. so I had friends. No, I mean we went because you know we actually liked it. Plus our friends were like photographers and so uh, we do like shoots oh, on site every oh, now and that's then. Dope. That's dope. So you know who you are. I miss you. Oh. But yeah. All right. Cultural activities. Yeah. Cultural activities. Yeah. Interesting. Well. Shared really theory. Huh? Said share. Oh, shared reality theory. Shared reality. Theory. Oh, in essence, the theory the theory of shared reality suggests that we are most likely to feel closer to each other when we turn our mutual attention to something beyond ourselves. Mm. Mm, that puts. Like religious. Yeah, but. Mm. That's why everybody be dating at church. Oh, <laughs> true. Hey, tell me I'm wrong. Alexa, tell me I'm wrong. And That's why everyone be dating at church. I mm-hmm. guess so. Especially when we're younger, like in high school. No. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe for y'all. Yeah, Dennis be with Alex like last week and then all of a sudden oh, they yeah. broke up. And then Dennis oh, be, yeah. with, That's... be with uh, be with uh, Jennifer. I've heard that. And Jennifer be with Dennis like a week later. And there's drama. Yeah, there's a lot of drama. Yeah. Lots of drama. I have a question. Did y'all go to Korean churches? Yup. Yeah. Okay, that's why anytime I talk to my Fire, like, dude. Mm. Korean, like full Korean American friends or Korean Canadian friends, they they went to Korean churches. I went to a not Korean church, so my experiences are very different. Oh, that never happened. Like we'll be oh. hanging out, they'll be doing like, yeah, I know this one hymn. And I'm like, I never heard this. What is this? <laughs> so that makes sense. <laughs> oh. Okay. Do you even go to church anymore? Well, not right now, but like before, before the whole COVID thing. Uh, no, I feel bad. I think the last time was whenever I went with you way back with everybody else. Holy crap. Okay. I'm sorry. Jesus God. loves you. He misses you. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Please don't. <laughs> okay. right. Anyway. Uh, is it time for a song break? I think it's time for a song break. And today we're going to mm. rest our weary ears with… Plug a song of yours. Really? Mm. Yeah. Any song that I… From me? Yes, mm-hmm. any song. All right, let's say, uh, listen to let's listen to movie, movie by Juni. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely phenomenal! Wow, good job, guys. Five out of five. Five out of five. Ten out of ten. Would ten recommend. Ten. Um, how'd you end up writing that song? Mm. This one, the one I just recommended. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought of I, I watched the movie called the uh, um. The one with Jim Carrey. I don't know why. I always forget. Uh, the tr- Truman. Truman Show. Mm-hmm. Oh. And you know like… It was a weird thought. Like I was watching the movie and then… Uh, you know how Truman realizes that he's not in a real world. Mm-hmm. And he tries to get out. But then you know how like effed up the world is right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like I thought… What if we just accept it? That it's fake. Because it's better than real life. Oh. Yeah. oh. So if you think about it like opposite. If it was a character that just accepted it. Uh-huh. That's kind of sad. But at the same time like how… The situation is now. I'd rather right. just have live a life that's all like focused on me. Mm-hmm. Right. It'd be like a wonderful life. Mm-hmm. A wonderful like, lie. A wonderful lie. Oh. Right, right, right. Wait, what? What oh, are the lyrics be. to the hook again? Um. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot, go. <laughs> you don't remember the lyrics to your own hook? Okay, 
I have like this weird like <laughs> short term memory. So. No, I feel you. I feel it's you. okay. No worries. I feel yeah, you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like okay. um, our running time is nine to five. Mm-hmm. So it's like you know, our running time from a movie, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then it's nine to five, which is like a like a basic work day mm-hmm. schedule. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the the lyrics just talk about how um, what if this scene was a movie, and then I didn't incorporate weight like a lot of the that thought about the Truman Show into mm-hmm. the lyrics because it's such a serious topic. Mm, and I yeah. wanted the song to be a little bright. So I had that in mind. And then I kind of like turn, turned it into a love song. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Word. Yeah. But yeah, it, it always happens. You know, like I want to write super serious stuff and like super deep stuff. But then I, it just turns into like an indie <laughs> like alternative band song. And then yeah. Yeah. And Survive. if I do that, you know, uh. it's it's hard to listen to sometimes for the ma- the major. Right. You don't market. want things to be too deep because yeah. it doesn't hit the… Major Wait, what's what's your genre then? Not your writing genre, not your reference genre, but the genre that you like to write. And play. Um, I mean, I have the most fun when I do R and B. That's why I had so much fun writing Kai's uh, title because mm. it's like he did that. He yeah. did that. Oh, am, are we on That's camera? Sick. Yeah. Oh wow. I he did know. that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's I'm like I was. I started with R and B. R and B is like the base basic you know mm-hmm. thing, and then the lyrics too. Like, there's a song called. Uh, one of my songs called Say. And then uh, that song is like just totally about making love to your significant Oh. Other. Yeah. So it's like those kind of songs that are what I grew up with. Okay. Like yeah. listening to Usher and Neo. Mm, yeah. But at Neo. the time when you're a kid, like you don't really think about that. You're just like this, the melody just bop. It's a yeah. bop, you know? I love this song. Mm-hmm. And then you it's grow fine. up in high school and then you start listening to lyrics and you're like, this dude is. Talking about this, and then you're like, you realize oh, everything. That's yeah. R and B, bro. And then okay. <laughs> Wait, is it really? Is it really? Is that the premise of R and B? R and B is like it's a like, lot of it's love related. It's though. all mm. a lot about like yeah. I don't think there's a R and B song that is not about. Oh, maybe there is. And these days, it, it, it's like you don't. There's not like a genre anymore. It's all mm. fusion. Everything's melded. True. Yeah, especially pop. Like yeah, definitely nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Mm-hmm. So what do you guys think about? Uh, the song… Like the songs that are coming out right now in Korea. Compared mm. to what's been popping in the in the billboard charts. I mean… I don't know. I, mean, I still feel like no matter what's trending… Mm. There's always going to be groups that you know don't go with what the trend is. Mm. But then I feel like as soon as they hop onto the trend… They get like super popular because that's what everyone's listening to. That's mm-hmm. the sound that people enjoy at the time. Yeah. True. But like that's never a bad thing though. Like getting the trends while you can is… Like, yeah. Get get your bag. Like just get your bag. Wait, like, what's what's popping in Korea right now? Other I mean, than even of day. It's like the um retro style stuff right now. It's coming back. Retro is that the word? Oh, I'm looking really? for? retro. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it's like uh, that. That's been popping overseas too. Because mm-hmm. like if you listen really? to the weekends like yeah. album, it's he went like Dua Lipa. Mm-hmm. They're all like retro, right? And then Korea is kind of doing their own version of it. They're hopping mm. onto the disco yeah. trend. Yeah. Only disco. Yeah, so they're they're doing the Korean retro. So Korea is doing the the Korean music retro stuff, mm-hmm. and then America's doing their American retro stuff. Exactly. I feel like Which Korea when they say retro, all I can think of is city pop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, is that is that is that what retro is in America as well? Nah. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's still nah. different. It's like eight. Um, if you listen to like eighties mm. dance music, like like ABBA. Oh. Uh, you, know? you guys know ABBA? I yeah. do very yeah. well. Yeah. So like ABBA had that. Sound, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, and then they, they, they don't copy it like the whole thing, but then they bring that, they mm-hmm. bring that feel, and then the artists like the weekend or whoever they put their own taste to it. And I like what Justin Bieber is doing, dude. I love. Oh my god, he, his his recent single is a bop. Yo, his his last four songs, right? I haven't actually heard Monster with Shawn Mendes too much, That's but the other three, song. like his next album, is gonna be so good. It's and so, to be honest. Yeah. Man, I'm a believer, dude. And I was a little bit disappointed with the Yummy album. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, but The changes? Dude, this next album… Oh my god. Mm. I mean, I have respect for Justin Bieber because he's doing… He's like trying out things every each album, right? So mm. he's like, I'm going to put on an R&B album. And then he, that's what he did. Yeah. But then… Personally, I like it when he does like pop music. You know he's, I mean? he's a pop god. Yeah, he's, he's a, a pop god. god. And he's really great at R&B too. Yeah. I just feel like… Maybe maybe the song selection wasn't wasn't top like mm. wasn't the and best. And he was going through a, for him, yeah. a, a rough time, right? Yeah, yeah. So, mm. 
but yeah, what, what he what he put out recently is like like Holy. you said yeah like he he's bringing back that retro like you can you can hear the eighties hmm. like in that song. Wait, can you really? Which the, one was the it? recent one? Um, always. Is it called Always? I forgot the title. Is it Always? No, she doesn't know. I don't listen to I'm Bieber. Sorry. Do you not listen to Bieber either? Uh, Holy, yeah, Holy's a good song. Holy's fire. Holy, yeah. I like, and then I like how he's like really upfront about being Christian and like he's talking about you know his music. His oh. music now is so different from what he used to put out. Yeah, and, and but it feels like he's evolving into something different. Okay, like, respect. Yeah. We're like doing like a music study thing. All right, let's go into the questions for today. <laughs> now right. that we have answered the meat of the topic of our questions, we're going to answer some of yours. And the first question is from. Oh, I'm, okay. I guess <laughs> I still this. can't see it. All right. Well, uh, this comes from Trisha. Trisha. Is a hamburger a sandwich or is a sandwich a burger? All right, Lad. guys. Is I've, a I've heard. A I've heard of the hot is hot dog a, a, a sandwich, but I've never heard of this one. Mm. Hamburger, a sandwich, or a sandwich, or just a burger. Um, wait, is, wait, there, there's, we can solve this. Hamburger, sandwich. I mean, what, what qualifies a sandwich and what qualifies a burger? A sandwich is a burger. Oh, really? But a hamburger is not a sandwich. Yeah, because but a hamburger has to have the burger. The burger, yeah, yeah has to have then, the burger patty. But does does a sandwich have a burger in it? Though? It could. It w- could. Wait. Wait, because sandwich is just bread with stuff inside of it. I was gonna look up like, like a definition. I was up something on your phone. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What is the Webster definition of a sandwich? Webster? I can't spell. <laughs> Isn't sandwich from a person's name as well? Really? What? That's Hold someone's on. last name? Someone invented the sandwich? Sandwich. Definition. Sandwich is someone's name. Dude, there. Oh, that's OP. <laughs> okay, sandwich definition is an item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or Ooh, other right. filling between but them. That's a hamburger. Eaten as light <laughs> meal. Wait, a sandwich has to have cheese. Then what is a peanut butter sandwich? No, they're lying. That's it's cap. An- Dictionary's wrong. Oh, so um, yeah, that's wrong. Theory. That's wrong. Yeah. Mm-mm. Um. Okay. Well, then what's what's the definition of a I hamburger? I think a sandwich is a, a sandwich is a hamburger, but a hamburger isn't necessarily a sandwich. Hold on, mm. lad. We're gonna figure that out. Hamburger has to have a patty. In I it. can't spell. Mm. Okay, yeah. hamburger. A round patty of ground beef, fried or grilled, and typically served on a bun or roll when garnished with various condiments. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Let's go. So, technically, a burger is a sandwich, but mm. a sandwich is not a burger. What? A sandwich is a… Yes. Yes, what you said. Yes. Mm. I got you another… I got, I, got, I got an idea from this one. I used to… I remember this question. Um, is ketchup a smoothie? <sighs> What? Why? You want oh, to see the world burn? Oh, because it's blended tomato. Yeah. Is that a smoothie? Some people. Just it's such a hard question. It is a smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You want a ketchup wait, smoothie? Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't a smoothie need milk? True. Wait, True. Smoothie definition. What was the definition of it a needs smoothie? Milk. You're right. All right. Uh, not a man. No. Um, a thick, smooth <laughs> drink of fresh fruit pureed with milk, yogurt, or ice cream. Nice. Ketchup is not a smoothie. It's Disgusting. Not a smoothie. Disgusting. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. What was that sound? It was me being disgusted. Oh lordy. Okay. Next question. <laughs> oh lordy. <laughs> next question. <laughs> ah, this comes from Martha Lissa. What's on your Netflix my list right now? Ooh, I have a lot of shows backed up. I haven't watched yet. Like Name Sweet Home. It's so good. Is it good? Yo. And mm. I haven't watched the the chess one. What's that called? Queen's Gambit. Queen's oh, Gambit. I haven't watched it yet either. It's so good. good. Is it good? It's good. I can't wait. I have a question. Do you guys use your own Netflix account or are you guys leeches? <laughs> you first. Well, uh, I had a Netflix account with my family. And uh-huh. then one day my laptop <laughs> shut down. Mm. So it did, I don't remember the logins or anything. And… Uh, Dad didn't remember the login for some reason. Mm. So I used my friends for about uh, a few months. And then, okay. but then I got it back and now I have my own Netflix. Okay, okay. Nice. I use my family. Mm. Yeah. Family my family one, yeah. Netflix. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's it's interesting what though. About you? What about you? See. I use my own. I use my own. No. Oh, yeah. just, just your own? No but family? I have, like, I have like five other leeches on my account. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I share my families, which… I think that's the smartest way to do it. Yeah. Mm. My parents don't really use Netflix though. Yeah, oh. my parents don't. Yeah, my sister does. Hmm. Do you guys have siblings? Yeah, I have two. Yes. Oh, really? Two older ones. Oh, so you're the mom. Uh, yeah, so oh. they're like 11 and 7 years apart for me. 
Damn. Damn. Wait, I'm my sister. Wrong. My sister is ten years apart from me too. Really? Yeah. So how old is she? She's forty. Wow. My brother's like thirty-seven. Damn. Almost like another parent. Oh, it's a brother. It's yeah. not a sister. What about your second? My second. My second brother is. Oh, it's another brother. Yeah, he's a brother. Um, he's born in eighty-nine. So how old is that? Like thirty. Thirty-one. Uh, my head hurts. Wouldn't it be thirty-one? That's it. interesting. Huh? How's it feel like growing up with three brothers, though? Yeah. Two brothers. Oh, like oh, three, like, as like a, three, as a three boys. Trio. Mm. Yeah. You guys do activities together? Um, no, man. Like they did because mm. they're like four years apart. But then, um, the only thing I did with them was play uh, like soccer games. Uh, yeah. But then you know when mm. they're at that age where they're making money. Yeah. And then I, I'm at an age where I'm needing money in high school. Yeah. Yep. So we do bets. Oh, you know okay. What I mean? He puts like a, a twenty dollar bill on the table. Mm-hmm. He's like, try and beat me, and I just play. Oh, okay. and then I, you know I get the money, and then I oh, go out nice. and like go out to eat. Wait, you get yongdon from here? I didn't get. Friends. That's how. That's how I got yongdon. He's mm-hmm. like, I'm not gonna give you yongdon, but you you work for it. My Damn, man, like, my man, you work for it, and I did. Dang. See, this is why I need brothers. Dude. I didn't get. I didn't get nothing from my sister, dude. No, I had but, to steal her credit card to go to Maple Story and X Cash. <laughs> you and Maple Story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, she okay, says, okay. shut up, yeah. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. Do you want to do the wrap up? Uh, Yeah, go for it. I said, do you want to do oh, the wrap up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> All right. And that is it for online dating. If you have any other questions for hashtag HDIGH, hit it, let us know on our other, what our next real questions should be mm-hmm. uh, on our Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Also, YouTube.com slash dive. Studios mm-hmm. and youtube.com slash dive pause for full episodes. Also, we have a TikTok at the dive studios. Subscribe to and review the podcast, please. And we will see you guys again next time. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, you can always listen to the full episodes on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And also, do not forget to subscribe and follow this channel. Also, turn on notifications. <laughs>